The Ole Miss Army ROTC Rebel Battalion play an important part in campus life, but a small group of cadets are missing one of the things they enjoy the most. They are the Rebel Redlegs, the cannon crew, in charge of Miss Mary, a 75mm pack howitzer cannon that used to open and close every Rebel football game. Now Miss Mary sits silent in front of Guyton Hall. Uh, it, now it's just different. I mean, I look, I look for it every time we score or something like that. I listen for it at the beginning of the game, end of the game. I listen for it. Now it's not here. I can tell you know, a lot of people miss it. And I miss it too. The university told the cannon crew before the first home game that they had to retire the cannon. Reasons cited were that, among other things, it scared young children, disturbed people with heart conditions, and even caused hearing loss in one game spectator. Cannon crew commander Stephen Jenkins out. says that those problems can be alleviated. And we have attempted to modify the volume and the frequency of the cannon somewhat to, to make it fire at a lower, lower levels of volume. So we're still working on that and trying to get in touch with the athletic department, hopefully to have a chance to let them see what we've done and uh, just let them know how we feel and see if we can get some kind of positive response about it. A positive response has already come from Ole Miss students and alumni. Almost 2,000 people have signed a petition located in Guyton Hall to bring back the cannon and put these guys back to work on the field. Even students that weren't here last year feel they've missed something very special. From what it sounds like to me, we're missing out with like the Rebel, have the cadets hold the Rebel up so he can do push-ups on the board like a and does with their core cadets. and the smoke and let the football players run through it. So sounds like that it was a good tradition. The petition is still in Guyton. Miss Mary still sits quiet, but many hope that will change in time for the okay. next home game. Beth Murphy, Channel 12 Newswatch.